Hello, Gaming Noodle here, back with another episode of Odin Sphere. I do say that name in many different ways, Odin or Odin, whichever it's fine. We've been banished, and uh, we seem to have some of our friends here with us. What is it doing here? Hmm. He said that Odin gave him that spear. He. Princess. You are the king's daughter. I'm assuming he means the person that woke us from our slumber. Because that's the only way we're awake, because of the fact that someone has uh, broken the curse. Or spell. I shall bring you some tea. I feel a bit better knowing that you're here. I will attend to you, even if I wasn't ordered to. Oh, that's nice. Miras, thank you so much. We have a bunny and our dwarf friend. That's all we need. Who's this guy? Princess, I'm a puka vendor. Is there something you need? Actually, yes, there is. Uh, we, well, I say we if you're playing with me, but I am going to sell a few things I don't need to get enough money and see if I can buy a bag. Got some bones here that I don't really need. Grape stems. Those are trash items where I don't think you can really use them for anything else, so it's just there to be sold. I uh, don't need the warmer. We won't be in cold climates anytime soon, so I might as well sell it. And I have a lot of muggle seeds. I've sold that one. Alright, that should be enough. 70 gold. Let's see what we got here. There is a bag. Not a small bag, but a, a normal bag, which is 50 gold. That's really expensive. Damn. I may need to farm some coins, like when I'm not recording, just to get enough bags. Just to afford a full bag. Full bags here. Yeah. Uh, so, how many is that now? It's five bags, but two of them are small. And all the ones I've got are actually still not as big as the default two that we start out with. Mm. Let's carry on with the story, shall we? Nebulopolis, that is in Ragnanavol, that's our home, our home nation. There you are, Gwendolyn. Hey, we've seen him before. Oswald, the Shadow Knight. Yeah. I have been forced to accept the enemy's elite soldier as my husband. It seems I am destined to suffer. That's pretty odd, the circumstances that we find ourselves in. I must take my leave soon. Him of all but people. Before I go, I would like to give you something. Your hand, please. This ring. I'm sorry. I have nothing else worthy of being presented to you. This is a beautiful ring. That I obtained from a dragon named Vogner. Oh, to Trell. The ring to Trell? Will you accept it? Why are you giving me something so precious? Hmm. How can I say it? Well, it's because I want to see you smile. To see you happy. I... I am a warrior. My only happiness stems from battle. It's a bit odd to see this side of Oswald. Hmm. He really cares for her for some reason. You sound unsure. Do you fancy him? No. That man is my enemy. When I think about all the warriors he has slain, I cannot forgive him, no matter how kind he is to I me. love the shooting stars in this my terrace. Father's spell is making me feel this way. Again, very beautiful. It is not love. It's like a picture book. It simply cannot be. I shall seek vengeance the moment it presents itself. That is what my father would want me to do. There is no reason for you to remain loyal to a king who has a family. Yeah, you. damn right. What is the point? I, I just want to do what will make my father happy. He basically sent you that off. Is what Oswald just said to he you. banished you. He yearns for your love in the same way you yearn for your father's. Another good point. It matters not. For now, I am simply a prisoner being manipulated by my captor. 
Yeah, those feelings that she has, it the the spell that was put on her said that she would fall in love with whoever wakes her. So are you leaving so soon? Yes. Can't blame her for I have an oath to keep. not believing in whatever feeling she might be having towards him. Will you wait for good me? feelings? I mean, I belong to you now. If you command me to wait, I <laughs> her expression says it all. <laughs> you are not an object, and I will not allow anyone to treat you thus. Never. Hmm. I take my leave. I shall be back soon. Seems like this Shadow Knight is actually not so bad, it seems. This ring is undoubtedly to Trell. This will allow the cauldron to be activated. I must take it to my father. Well, that's that then. I guess we're going to be going back home to Ragnanaval. Nebulopolis, that is the city of which the king is. Look at this place. Ooh. I guess in the background that's the main castle I come with a message for the king. where King Odin is. Oh! What are you doing? He just struck the. Have been banished, but I will not tolerate such treatment. She's a princess, really. The king has ordered us to kill you on sight. Now that is strange. Orders to kill your own daughter? What the hell's going on? Right, well, we're going to have to find out. We're going to have to fight through our own people to get to our father, it seems. Yep, find Odin's throne room and seek out the truth. Big bear guy, well, sorry, but you're going down. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, really. Uh, got some Valkyrie as well, dotted around. I just want to say that... Again, the landscapes in this game are phenomenal. This place looks... Ah, oh, it looks so fantastic. The, it's like a sea of spirals and towers and statues of gargoyles. And the, the main... I mean, the sky itself is fantastic. It's like all these like shooting stars and stuff swirling around in some kind of vortex. The castle itself in the background, you can't see it yet, but you'll see it a bit in a bit. There it is. Look how large and spectacular it is, the lighting. I mean, you know what I'd wish? I would wish that there was like an MMO with the people that made this game, like the same art team. Because I would freaking love to explore a world that had the same kind of aesthetics as this game because it's highly inspired it's very even though it's anime-ish it's it, it seems very much inspired by like classical kind of Disney fantasy in a way at least to me it does it's so it's so pleasing to the eye for me I, I absolutely I adore it we just smacked everyone's ass. That was good. Let's see what my grade is. What do I get? What do I get? C for crap. I didn't think I did too bad, but I guess the game thinks otherwise. Well, you know what? Screw you, game. Toxin releases a poisonous cloud that crawls forward and poisons enemies. That's actually pretty uh, pretty good alchemy mix that you can feel free to use yourself if you want it's not bad alright well I don't really know where I'm, I'm going because I have no map so I kind of there's only one way to go though and it was you know through that one exit so it's taken us to this place we got some dwarves throwing bombs at us man I'm so mesmerized by the, the backdrop I could just watch it for hours. Honestly, I could do nothing but watch it. And I'd be happy. And this game is very old now. It came out in like 2006 or 2007. I forgot which. But I mean, that's pretty old now. And for a PlayStation 2 game, it's just... Oh, it's so good. Dead dwarves are dead. 
Hopefully I'll get more than a C this time, come on. Yes, that's more like it. Now I don't feel like such a failure. Pick up all this stuff. Good enough muggle seeds. Semi-sweet and delightfully citrusy. Yum. Where to go? Um, still blind because I have no map, but I think I'm going to take this one up here. I heard something squeak. I need a carrot here. Yep. Right here. Those will be needed. So try and get a few if you can, if you hear it. It never hurts to stock up on a few of them. Hello, my Valkyrie. How we used to be sisters and now you attack me. It's a shame, really. I really am very interested to see what happens. I mean, things have gone crazy. We were banished. We finally wake up and realize that the one who has broken the curse from us is Oswald, who is the enemies, the veneer, those uh, fairy, those fairies from the the kingdom of Ringford. His their top soldier is oh S rank. Their top soldier is the Shadow Knight, and apparently he is the one that wakes us, which makes things a little bit interesting because of the fact that we are sworn enemies so it's very very odd and then we he gives us the ring which he gets from Wagner which I'm assuming he kills that dragon which um, we were actually gonna sacrifice Velvet to the witch and our sister we we're gonna give her to Wagner for the ring but apparently uh, that's not gonna happen he's already dead now and the ring is on our finger. And we want to give it to our father to please him. As we always do want to. But now he's given orders for the people of our own nation to kill me on sight. To kill Gwendolyn, which is pretty crazy. It's like he's gone crazy himself. Rank, rank, rank. What is it? C, uh, S. Sorry, C. <laughs> it's another S rank. I'm doing good. Ooh, we've got a lot of parchments that just dropped. One of them is most assuredly the map. Yes, it is. Area map obtained. That will be good. Alchemy. Alchemy mix. Healing tonic. A potion that recovers 200 HP. Now, this is good. And it just requires material and a carrot. So let's go ahead and make one. I did get a carrot from before. Nice. So we get three sips that heal for 200 each. The problem though with these kind of things, they're very easy to make, but they don't really give you any experience, unlike food. So it's always best to use food when you can, when you have it, because not only does it heal you up, but it gives you HP experience. Which of course is good, because you know, then your HP levels go up and you get more HP over time. Healing tonics, uh, while they're good, they don't actually increase your HP pool. But they are good for, you know, if you're in a bit of a pickle on a boss fight or something and you, you desperately need to quickly get some HP and you don't have any food. So it is good to make them. What is going on here? We have disgustingly cadaverous creatures from the nether realm. What are they doing here? They are infesting the city. We've got a cipher level up, that's always good. But seriously, what are they doing here? That is crazy. Everything's crazy right now. This whole chapter is bonkers. Because everything is turning on its head real quickly. A lot of things don't make sense right now. Hopefully we'll get to find out why exactly there are creatures from the netherworld, from the nether realm, infesting this place. What was that? Tentacles. That looked like Beetlejuice tentacles, actually. Ghostly monsters materialize when you absorb foes on snowfire. Huh. And those crazy little 
I don't know, what, what are they? They're... They have two forms. They have the ghostly maiden form, where you can't really touch them, but they look kind of pretty. Like now. And then they turn into this ugly, zombie-ish creature. And they have a very kind of spooky laugh. Shouldn't be too difficult, you just kind of got to wait for them to get into this undead form before you can attack them. I think I killed them all. Almost died though. Nope. We've got more waves of undead. Let's see if we can uh, use a foes on bus. Let me try and find a better spot though to get a few of them. Here's a good spot, I think. Eat shit! Now that does a lot of damage. That like one shot them, I think. Die. Got some Beetlejuice tentacles that got killed again. There you go, that was it. Not so bad. I think I'm picking up steam here. Getting kind of used to the game, getting C grade still. What's this? An egg. That's the first egg we've gotten. An omelette, eh? So light and fluffy and delicious. Omelette. You're always welcome at the Puka. What? There's a Puka village. Puka, if you hadn't realized, are those uh, bunny creatures. You know, like Meryl at the castle that kept wanting to make us tea? Well, she's a Puka. Demon Lord's castle. Let's see what's up. Ah, there he is. Odin. Whoa! Father! Not quite. Don't you recognize me? Oh, I recognize that slimy voice. Your Lord Brigan. The Queen of the Underworld thinks highly of me. I have been delegated to discipline King Odin, who steals jewels from her realm. Observe. The pitiful king is merely a puppet to my will. This country is finally mine! So you are behind the chaos in this land. I see. You disgust me. And me. Leave the king at once. So he's possessing the king. <laughs> I'll tear off those wings of yours and remove my shame for having known you. <laughs> Your soul shall become my place. That's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> it's just shameful for him to even have known you. So, let me kill you to rectify that. So the Queen of the Underworld from the Netherrealm has sent his soul into Odin to possess him. Now, I died a lot on this fight when recording. I ain't even gonna lie. I died a hell of a lot. No pun intended. But this fight is really... you have to be careful. So many of his moves will like kill you in like two shots, even one shot sometimes. It's absolutely in it's it's just insanity. You gotta be very careful. Basically, try to never be at his front. That seems to be a good rule of thumb with bosses. When he does lasers like now, it's alright to be at his front because it hardly ever hits you. So whenever you see him like mask his face with his hand, that means he's charging up his lasers. So it's fine to stay in front of him. But when he does his little sound effect where, like now, he kind of puts his fist back, that's your cue to get away from him. Either, uh, you know, fly away or fly over him. Because he's going to start punching. And one hit from that will take about, at least from my HP pool, it took like half of my HP, even more so. And like two of those hits will kill you just full stop. And this bloody thing, he throws his cypher at you, his cypher weapon. You get hit by that, you will die. Do not get hit by it. I think it's like a one shot. Ooh! And I instead get punched. And as you can see, I almost died. It's just mental. This fight is so... Oh my god. When he throws it like that, I almost died, as you can see, 17 HP, but... I think when it starts bouncing, when he throws it and it bounces across the, the level, if you get hit by that, you will die, like one shot. I'm pretty sure of it. It's very important also in this fight that you use the minimap. The minimap that's on the top of the screen where you can see the silhouettes, it's highly useful and you need to use it. 
If you don't use it, you will probably die way too much, more than you need to. It's a good uh, thing to use because you can see where Odin is on the map, and you can see that damn cipher that he throws at you. If you can see it, you can kind of predict where it's going to land, and if you want to run under it or jump over it, that will be a good way to do it. And it bounced back, but luckily it disappeared. My Avast virus database just updated, thank you. But uh, you've got to be very careful not to get hit by that cipher. It does bounce back onto you if you're near it, so be very careful. Again, he's masking his face, it's fine, just going to stand in front of him and keep throwing everything got at, got at him. Oh, there is definitely that you're going to need. If you see any butterflies, you need to get it. Okay, always get it when you see a butterfly. And take advantage of your invulnerability. Every time you get hit, say if it's by a small attack, and by small attack I mean maybe his lasers or something. Remember that you are now invincible for a couple of frames because you're flashing. So go ahead and keep smacking away at him, so if he starts charging a, a, an attack and you're flashing, don't worry too much because it's not going to hit you. And just throw everything you have. He's almost dead now. But like I said, I had Ninja edited this because of the fact that I died a hell of a lot on this fight. It was insane how many times I died. And this is a normal. I was like, oh my god, what the hell am I going to do? I need to kill this guy. It's, it's pretty crazy. If you do find yourself dying a lot, kind of just take a breather. Uh, if you if you want to get annoyed, just maybe turn off the game, relax, and then come back to it. Um, I'm one of those people where if I keep dying on something, I just run at it again and again and just bash my head against the wall until I basically break through. That's how I do it. Just brute force. Doesn't matter how many times, if I'm dying 50 times, 60 times, I'm just going to continue smacking my head on the wall until I finally get through. And that's just how it is. Even more so when I'm playing a Let's Play, because I have to record these episodes. I can't not record it. I need to do it. I have no choice in the matter. But he's doing a lot of these uh, masking of the face and shooting lasers. I'm running. I am not going to try and smack him about for the last few health because if that cypher hits me I'm dead in one shot and I will get so angry if he if I die when he's at this kind of HP no way I am gonna be safe Whew, there you go done freaking brigand get out of here Is that really him? Gwendolyn, yep. You made it back safely. No thanks to you. I have violated your edict, but I have important information for you. Please take this. This ring is to train. No, Gwendolyn. Good work, Gwendolyn. That man. I was right to tempt Doswall. Tempt? What do you mean, father? He and I formed a pact. I would give you to him if he could slay the dragon Wagner. Wow. Obviously, he So he made a pact with the enemy. The ring is a prize from that battle. With your latest actions, you have atoned for your past transgressions. Welcome back, my That friend. is crazy. Your honor has been Nothing destroyed. seems to be what it is. And that's a good point, because Oswald is fighting for the Veneer. He's on their side, yet he helps the enemy nation. This is no longer where I belong. Why would he do that? Gwendolyn. Well, he does it for Gwendolyn. But then you got to well, think why. I wish you in the heavens well. Does he really love her like that? He hardly knows her. But I'm glad that Gwendolyn is like, okay, this is bullshit. I'm not staying here anymore. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. Take care, guys.